Hello, welcome back to another video, and I'm reacting to another trailer. Did uh, one for Ridley around about the end of August, down to early October, and um, this is a new, what's a new three-part drama on Channel Five. Now, their dramas have been a little bit suspect. They've just just been, they've not been great, quite frankly. Um, <laughs> they just really stretch the bounds of credibility half the time there's one called um the one that, that was absolutely the worst is one called intruder if you if you if there's any to avoid avoid that one or definitely watch intruder because it's just absolutely bafflingly stupid in that um i, I mean it, it, it will be a spoiler this but it was on last year i think uh, so if you've not seen it by now well <laughs> you, you haven't missed an awful lot but a man was tricked into, I'd say tricked into dying in a cave, but he just sort of got trapped in it, even though he wasn't really trapped. He could have got out and he managed to die overnight, even though if you don't have any food and water, you'll die. You'll, you'll take about 18 days to die. You would not die overnight. So the whole thing was just absolute bollocks. And so if any drama on Channel 5 is really bad, I just always think, well, at least it's not as bad as Intruder. At least no one got stuck in a cave. Um, this one's more interesting than others because it's based on Maxine Carr. So it's just called Maxine. And it's on next Monday. So it's Monday, 10th of October. 9 o'clock, Channel 5, three nights straight in a row. Um, the descri description on uh, IMDb just says, It examines the investigation into school assistant Maxine Carr and her fiancé Ian Huntley, who was imprisoned for the killing the schoolgirls, Holly Wells and Jessica Chapman. Now, it does seem a bit strange that a channel could be profiting from the murder of two schoolgirls, whether Channel 5 is sort of putting the profits into sort of a charity in their name. I had no idea. I don't know what's going on about that. Um, but then I suppose you could say that about any TV drama, any, any channel that makes a TV drama based on real-life facts. We don't know. But, I mean... <sighs> Looking at, I'm trying to think how, uh, well, Maxine, I mean, he, he's Ian Huntley in the background. He doesn't really look an awful lot like Ian Huntley, but uh, she looks quite a lot like Maxine Carr, actually. I'll bring up some pictures of them, if we can stomach them. But um, let's, just, let's just go through the trailer anyway. Two ten-year-old girls went missing yesterday evening in the small town of Soham, Cambridge. Now, just watching this trailer, I did think, why, why have we got subtitles? I mean, yes, I, w I watched a lot of things with subtitles just because, just out of pure habit, because I'm usually trying to do two things at once, um, so it's it's convenient. But I've never seen them Im embedded into a trailer before. I can't, I can't go to prison. No one's going to prison. Well. I think you both are actually. <laughs> Your story might help jog a memory, help find them. You want to help, don't we? You're ever so funny. Oh, she's got the nasty piece of work vibe down perfectly. Going to prison. <laughs> Your story might help jog a memory, help find them. You want to help, don't we? Yeah, just the way she's sort of grinning there, and ooh, that's. Yeah, that's, that's quite scary, actually. You're ever so funny. They're brilliant. They were kind to everybody. She used to pass tests because she thinks they're dead. Come on, Maxine. You lied for him. It wasn't him. You're innocent. H-U-M-T-L-E-Y. You tell me, oh, don't look so guilty. Don't look so bloody cheery. Maxine. Oh, we've got chills uh, multiplying, but not in the way that um, John Travolta had. Original drama over three nights starts Monday, the tenth of October at nine on Channel Five and My Five. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, oh, yeah, that's pretty scary. So just going online to compare. Obviously, you got Maxine Carr, the real Maxine Carr, versus. I forgot what her name is now, but I've brought it up. Da, 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 da. Gemma Carlton. Oh, she looks completely different there. Obviously, uh, we've got the pictures. 
Yeah, that's, uh, she looks a lot like her there. But, um, yeah, so she's a very good likeness for her, the, the, uh, the, the guy, not so much. Um, I was trying to think, you know, have I seen her in anything before? And yet when I go and uh, have a look here, there's absolutely nothing else listed for her. She must have done other stuff, unless she's only done stage work, I don't know, and IMDb doesn't list that. Um, for Scott Reed, there's, there's a few things. I've, I know I've seen him before, he was, but it's just, I've not, I don't need, I've not seen him in anything that sort of stands out and makes me think, yeah, I remember him in that. I just sort of remember his face. So he's a detective constable in White House Farm about those murders. And I never watched Still Game. But um, Line of Duty, so that was season uh, series four. In the UK, a program is a series. In America, it's a season. Um, but the only thing I remember about series four is Dandy Newton. Tandy Newton. Tandy, Tandy. Let's call the whole thing off. Um, she's lovely. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't remember. Uh, when, once the series is finished, I sort of don't remember an awful lot about it, especially that was 2017, so we're, we're five years on from there. So, so that's uh, I say a three part series, so I'll definitely watch that. So that starts Monday, 10th of October, 9 o'clock, and we'll bring you a review, I don't know, I'll be bringing you a review on dvdfever.co.uk as well. So, I was going to say stay tuned, but you don't really tune into a DVD, you just tune to a website, do you? Just sort of go to it. So just type in dvdfever.co.uk and uh, you'll see a review there soon. Ah. In the meantime, though, please like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, click on the bell for all the notifications, and uh, keep Genesis.